What is up, everybody? In the days later, we actually go offshore at a Clearwater beach on my buddy Austin's boat. He had no numbers offshore to Clearwater, asked me for some. I said, well, why don't I just come with you, bring this hard bottom HD chart, and let's see what we can make happen. So make sure to stay tuned and see what happens. All right, we're on the strike lines, hard bottom HD chart right there. Check this out. We just got a dog snapper. Uh, Never got one before, but look at the colors on it. It's like a mutton, kubera snapper, mango snapper all combined. All right, we're going to take some pictures of it, but that's really cool for out of clear water. Another big snapper or grouper? Let's see what it is. A gag this yeah. time. Oh, good camera in the box. <laughs> He's almost keeper too. He'd be pretty close. Alright, go on this way. That'd be a good one. If it's a red grouper, it'd be a keeper. Alright, had a pinfish on the bottom. Got rocked up for a second. Hopefully it's another dog snapper. You're on over there, David? No, I'm at the bottom. Let's see what this is. Is that a red grouper? Yeah, it is, I think. Yeah, it is. That little Max. That's a keeper red grouper. So today, guys, Max got rocked up by this little... <laughs> How are you feeling today, Max Berman? Should be a keeper red grouper right there. Woo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Hey, it was a good fight. Yeah, it was, man. My group are open, gags are closed, so. Throw them in the box. On the hard bottom HD strike lines chart, so. Good little red grouper. Dude, whatever the cake. Is it coming up, though? Barely. Yeah. Yeah, Tanner's coming. on a fish now. Should be a moose red grouper. We're on the red grouper bottom. Or is it a sea turtle? Oh, dude, what is this? Look at it. Okay. I think it's a nurse shark. Yeah. A cobia? No, a nurse. Little gummy. That's keeper too. Put him in the box. <laughs> we gotta get that thing. He didn't even wanna move. Yeah, like nurse sharks are like big dead weight. I swear I caught a nine footer on the pier one night. David's got a fish on. Hopefully it's that hog. We think it's that hog. Hopefully. We we taught him the new method. He was herking and jerking it. And now he's smooth and steady. Wins the race. It's coming up. You see it, David? Yeah. You can, you'll see it though. It's that big. You should be able to see it now. Uh oh, is he spiraling? Oh, it's a... It's a red grouper or a big hog. No, it's not it's a, a gag. gag. Are you yeah, serious? Why? <laughs> it's a keeper. I don't want them. Just throw them in the ice box. <laughs> keeper gag. After doing some more research on the hard bottom HD chart, we're in about 65 feet of water. First keeper hog of the day, 14.3 inch, something like that. We're going to get some more of them, hopefully. Could be another hogfish on here. Feel decent size or could be short. Better. Could be short. I mean if it's going to the other side of the boat, it should be decent. Yeah, it's a hog. Male? Yeah. Aw. Another hog. Now Austin's got one on. Slow and steady, Austin? Slow and steady. Get the net. Going right under the boat. Let's see. That's a hog. Oh, it's a hog. Is it really? Yeah. That's keeper. That is keeper. Thing got his eyes blown out. Nice. All right. Second keeper oh, of the day. Oh. Uh oh, is David on? Dude, now I'm snagged up. Did, did the hogs? You bamboozled me. You bamboozled here. We got a fish on. Probably not a big hog if it is one. But of course, the hogs move in when we run out of shrimp. Of course. Some shrimp bite is always the best bite. 
Oh, he, he has potential. He's upgrading. He's upgrading? It's a trigger. David's on. Hey. Whoa. Oh. Oh. David, oh. David actually goes slow and steady on that. <laughs> oh, David, that's Here a we hog. Are. Oh, it's slow. <laughs> Let's see, David. Oh, Here's David. a trigger. Check that out. Boom. David. David's going slow and steady on him. Oh, I feel like I'm snagged up with you. David, are you going slow and steady for us? It's a hog. It's a hog. David's going slow and steady. Always. It's going to be close. I think it's about 26 inches. David. What's up? Get that thing in the boat, dude. That thing's like gold right now. <laughs> 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 There's David's hog. That's a big one. All right, we just got another keeper hog. We're on the hard bottom HD chart, as you see. And the bite's actually showing up for once. Oh, I gotta get the net for this one. This should be an 18 incher. It's a hog. Fucking That's how they be. fight. We all might not have to start. I got the net. That's a hog. Yeah, it is. That's a hog. David, yeah, move. It is. Nice. That's a keeper. That's a nice Let's go. Hey, we're we're heating up. Nice. Awesome. Here, dude. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Awesome's on. It's working them. We're finding like one shrimp at a time, and each time we find a shrimp, it's resulting in a hogfish right now. The trash fish have seemed to move away. Porgy. Is it? Porgy. You, hey, you might still have the shrimp. Check them, check them. <laughs> oh! No. Here's some of the hogs. A grouper, dog snapper. So here's what the show looks like, or the hard bottom HD chart. The purple, and then check that out. That's the show. That's some rock and whatever, some miscellaneous oh, fish. Let's go to. You want this jacket? I'll take, yeah, like that one. Side there. scan. You don't see stuff right now, but there was. We used side scan, oh, oh, shit. fish finder, that. Oh. And with code grouper MVP, you get 10% off your chart. So make sure to check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As I was really impressed. I haven't been out of shore out of clear water for hogfish in a few years. I fish out of St. Pete normally. So I checked out some new areas. I checked about four to five spots. The first spot we checked out, boom, that's where we got the dog snapper. We got a short hog. Then we got red grouper, which that's pretty impressive. The dog snapper, that's pretty rare to get in this area. And then we went to some other ledges. Didn't get anything much, and then we found another good ledge on the hard bottom HD chart where that's where we ended off the day. We got three to four hog keeper hogs on that spot, a few shorts, and that's when they really fired off. Sometimes when you're hog fishing, as you saw in my video last week, there was 15 to 25 hogfish on that one spot, and I don't even think we caught a hog when we were fishing there. So sometimes it's just luck. Sometimes the hogs just don't want to chew, so it's up to that. And then as you saw, once they started chewing, it was boom, boom, boom. They were just firing off. So it's always different out there. Make sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button down below as I'll see y'all next time.